Prophetic Light International. You can reach our website if you wish to, is propheticlight.org. I want to speak to you just for a few little moments on the subject of life and death. We wonder what we could get out of such a contrasting thing. But we know that we want life. There are very few people that like to dwell on death. But the Bible tells us there's life and death in the power of the tongue. We have heard so many messages on that passage. But I want to give you a little different take on it today. That life is in Jesus Christ. He said, in him was life, and the life was the light of man. There's a definite contrast between darkness and light. The light cannot be put out by darkness, but darkness can be put out by light. And it's an interesting thing that death is swallowed up in victory death being the last enemy. But if life and death is in the power of the tongue, then we know that it's something that we speak one way or the other. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus. In other words, if you will confess or speak with your own mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. Since in him is life, you are speaking life into your own self, eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That life is received by confession with your mouth that brings you life and then to reject Jesus Christ with your mouth that power of the tongue will either bring you eternal life or eternal death and separation from God it's a very serious thing but it's a very positive thing to know that death is swallowed up in victory because we confess Jesus as our Savior and our Lord. We receive abundant life in Him. We receive eternal life in Him. For in Jesus Christ is life. He becomes life in us. And we live and move and have our being in Him. It's a wonderful thing to know that just by our confession, there is life in the power of the tongue. Another passage of scripture says that precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of the saints. Now there's controversy about this passage as well. Some of them interpret that, that it's costly, costly in the eyes of the Lord is the death of the saints. It costs him something when we leave this life. We're no longer a witness. We're long, no longer a voice. We're no longer a written epistle known and read by men. Even though we are with the Lord, we're not with one another here. So as long as we're in this flesh, as Peter said, he wants to be a reminder Bring them into remembrance the things that they need to know. As long as we're in this body, we need to witness about the Lord Jesus Christ, who is life that is everlasting and eternal and abundant. We need to witness about the positive things of confessing Jesus Christ as our Savior and our Lord. He also said that the death of the wicked, he takes no pleasure in that. Well, you know, this simply means 
that there is no reward in the death of the wicked for the Lord. If God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him would not perish, would have everlasting life. He has nothing to gain by the damnation and death of the wicked. It's only if they repent and turn to God that he would have profit. It's a wonderful thing to have Jesus Christ as your Savior and our Lord. Confess him with your mouth. The Bible says, choose life. When we choose life, we choose Jesus Christ. When we choose death, we choose not to receive him as our Savior and our Lord. It's up to us. God made a decision for the whole world, gave us life. That's Jesus Christ. Gave us everything that pertains to life that's eternal and abundant. So we choose that. We make a simple decision that when we have Jesus, we have life. Not just new life, but everlasting life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Make that decision today. Why would we want to have less than life, abundant life? That is my decision, and I hope and pray that it's yours. God bless you with life in Jesus Christ as you confess Him as your own Savior and Lord.